Hi guys, I don't know if you all remember my tree bark video. Well this is going to be part of that video as I never showed you how we create the top of the tree. So in this one we're just going to create the top and I'm going to leave the sides as I've already got a video for that one. So what we're going to do is we're going to start with just some normal fondant. I've just dyed this with a little bit of ivory colour. A caramel ivory it's called and it's a sugar flare one. What I'll do is I'll put in the description box below the video any tools and equipment that I use. So we're just going to roll this out. Keep turning it to make sure it doesn't stick to your table. If it does, or your work surface, if it does start to stick, just put a little bit of corn flour down. You can use icing sugar too, but I prefer corn flour. The reason for that is I think it's much finer than uh, icing sugar. And it doesn't stick your fondant so you can brush it off at the afterwards um, and it also it doesn't dry it out like icing sugar does so this should now be big enough you'll see I've turned it over um, and where I haven't quite mixed the color in properly I've got a bit of a marbled effect but that's fine and um, that'll look nice on the cake so what we're gonna do is place it on the top of our cake so I've just got a smoother now which we're just going to use for rubbing the top I do have a squeaky turntable just try and get it nice and even. If it's a single tier and you've not got it perfectly flat, perfectly even, with it being a wood effect or a wood sort of slice, it doesn't really matter too much if it's not perfectly even as a piece of wood. Probably wouldn't be. If you're using them for tiered cakes, I would try and make it level so that you know that they're all going to sit nicely on top of each other. Okay, so I think I've smoothed that enough. So just using a knife now, we're just going to cut around the edge just taking off this extra bit. Now again, if it's not a perfect circle, that's fine. In fact, it's better if it's not a perfect circle. So I'm just taking a knife now, and what I'm gonna do is just put some little lines going from the edge into the center. So we're not actually going all the way into the center. I'm gonna start with some longer ones. So just the odd long one. And I'm going to start to put others in between that are different lengths. So some shorter ones, longer, some not as deep, some nice and deep, just so you get lots of different lines. I'm going to do this all the way around the edge. Okay, so I've gone around that all the way around. It might be that you want to open some up a little bit so you look like you've got a crack in the wood. Okay. And then what we're going to do is go around now with another tool. Again, you can use a cocktail stick if you want instead. And I'm just going to run this around the edge. Don't worry if it's not perfect circles, it's absolutely fine. It doesn't have to be one long line either. You can do lots of smaller ones coming around. Now, if you're doing a tiered cake, this whole middle section is probably going to be covered so you don't have to worry about going all the way into the middle. So this one I'm going to use for stacking with another one. So there's going to be another one on top, so I'm not going to worry too much about that middle section. I'll just show you a smaller one that I've done. This one's actually on a dummy, whereas this one's a real cake. So you'll see I've gone to the middle. And I've also put in some little scuff lines as if it's been sawn, so we'll put in those little scuff lines now. So just taking your knife, just slice just a little bit into the top, like so, so that it looks a little bit like it's sawn. If there's too much extra icing, just knock that off. It does look quite good with little shavings on there. Okay, so now we're just going to add a little bit of colour. So now we're just going to dust with these petal craft colours. Now, mine have seen better days, I'll show you. They unfortunately are quite broken now, um, so I probably should invest in some more soon. So taking one of the browns, we're just going to really lightly dust a little bit of colour on that very edge. You don't want too much. And we're going to do this all the way around. Okay, so we've dusted around that now. Just make sure any of the dust that you do use are edible. 
that's the whole top bit done. Now it's onto the sides, so I do have a separate video for doing the tree bark effect, which you can find here. If you enjoyed the video, please do like it and give it a share. And please pop over to my Facebook page to have a look for different ideas and creations that I do make. Thank you for watching. If you liked this video and would like to see more, please click on the images of the other videos suggested. Also, please do subscribe to my channel using the button at the bottom right hand corner of the screen. You can also visit my cake website and my Facebook page to see more cakes and ideas.